Now, a Dayton woman is in critical condition tonight after she was severely burned in a house fire. News 18's Krista Henry joins us live from Dayton with the latest this evening. Krista. Well, good evening, Jeff and Gina. The crews just left the scene here at 725 Cagles Mill Drive in Dayton about an hour ago. No word yet on the cause of the fire, but what we can tell you is that it all started at about 1140 this morning when neighbors and people driving by heard screaming from the home and saw the house in flames. Witnesses describe Monday afternoon's fire at this residence horrifying. It's the horrible thing I've ever seen. I mean, you, you're literally watching somebody burn to death in front of you, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. And I was, just, I just went into shock. I mean, I was trying to get her out. The worst thing I've ever seen. It's movie, movie type. It was just, it was pretty bad. It started when neighbors and people driving by heard screaming coming from this home and noticed flames shooting from the house. I was out back letting the dog out and then uh, saw the smoke and a neighbor yelled for help, called 911. So I was calling 911 along with my neighbor and then we ran over there. I was just on my way home from work and uh, I saw the houses on fire and uh, these uh, women were uh, yelling for me to come help. And that's when Keith Henderson pulled over and helped pull the woman who was on fire out of the house. She was. Uh, Badly burnt, and she was halfway out the door. I've never seen anything like that before. It was, it was scary. Bystanders were eventually able to get the lady out of the fire, hose her down, and call 911. Now, when crews arrived at the scene this morning, they transported the patient. Uh, she, her name is unknown at this time, but they did tell us that she was taken to IU Health Arnett in Lafayette in critical condition. Again, right now, we do not know the condition of this patient at the time. But what we can tell you also is that witnesses and neighbors that were helping pull her out of the home, they also were treated at area hospitals with minor injuries. Um, and uh, again, the, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Dayton, Krista Henry, News 18. Krista, thank you.